I want you to imagine right now that someone looked over your shoulder while you were watching a regular video that you watched. Would you like kind of like try and hide it away from them? Or would you be completely fine with them watching it over your shoulder? Because for me or how I used to be when I was incredibly socially anxious, watching all these self-improvement videos, all these videos on like, oh yeah, here's how to talk to people. Here's how to start a successful business. All these pe people who would look over me, I would try and like conceal it, push it as close to my body as possible, make my neck go down just like that. And this was because I understood that it was not normal, that if people saw that I had some kind of ambition inside of me, then I would be seen as an outlier, that I would be seen as a person who actually wants to focus on his future self instead of drinking alcohol and destroying his liver all the time, always smoking like vapes, making the school bathroom smell like pineapple and peach. If you, this video shows up to you, for you, it showed up for you for a reason. Now, obviously it's the YouTube algorithm, right? The incredible YouTube algorithm, which perfectly recommends videos to you that you want to watch. But that means this is a self-improvement video, isn't it? It's a success video. It's a motivational video. You've been watching these kinds of videos, which puts you a step above the average person. You've been watching this video, these kinds of videos, showing me that you have ambition, showing me that you have motivation, showing me that maybe you even have some interest in business, showing me that you want to improve. And that makes you fucking weird. That makes you an outlier, a guy from all these other, away from all these other people who don't want to go to those parties, who don't want to take a hit of that shit, who don't want to maybe take a drink of that beer who don't actually want to watch porn every day and end up living in their parents' basement. I heard a story of one guy, and he wouldn't... This is kind of fucked, but he would literally jerk off into jars. Jars. He was a living with his parents in their basement. And this is actually like a cellar. Like, the, a literal, like, shithole of a basement. It was, like, wooden and everything. There are jars of cum. <laughs> it's fucking nasty. And it's sad to look at. Have you seen those people on Reddit who post their... Oh my gosh, bro. I don't even know if I can say this shit. It's, it's messed up, the things that you see. And don't worry, I didn't find this out because I'm on these forums. I found it out from people telling me. All these kinds of things. You do not want to end up like this person. Yes, these people are below average, but what is average? Average is mediocrity. Average is always want to, wanting to do something more with your life, but never being able to actually do it. Average seems to be depressed. Average seems to be sad average seems to be unambitious average seems to be de demasculinized this is average nowadays so if you're seeing this video if you have some level of ambition motivation then you are ahead now how are you going to get even way further ahead utilize that ambition utilize that motivation that you have bottled up inside of you and finally push it into something that you want into the real world something that you want to create, something, a message that you want to spread. What do you actually want to do with your life? I love asking these kinds of video, the questions in my videos, because it makes you actually contemplate instead of all these YouTubers just feeding you information. Here's my two cents. Here's all the things that you should be doing. Here's everything that you should be doing. Oh, yep. Uh, five lessons that every man needs to know. No one has ever asked you what you actually want what your own strengths are, what your own weaknesses are, what your own passions are. So let me ask you right now, what's the best thing that you can do? What's the worst thing that you can avoid? Either of those. Two, move forward. Because let's be real, most people are in this position in life where they can't seem to get more done and they can't seem to X out all of the things, all the bad things that they understand are bad for them. So what are you going to do to push yourself in front of these people? Yes, you are ahead. Yes, you are consuming the right content. 
Yes, you are watching all these videos, but that only puts you a smidgen ahead. What are you going to do to make yourself 10 times more successful? Success does not come with you complacently watching these videos. It doesn't come with you being a cuck for all these people's lives, watching them drive their supercars, fuck models, watching them smoke nicotine, smell like shit. Stop watching all these people and understand what you want. You have way more information inside of you than you realize. You just need to extract it. You finally need to reduce the level of input that you have through YouTube, through TikTok, through Instagram. You need to limit all of it. And you need to focus 100% of your life towards actually figuring out on your own how to do it. Yes, you can learn from all these people's lives. Like, yeah, this is the mistake that I wish that my younger self knew about. This is the bad thing that I did back in my years and here's what you need to know about it. Yes, these videos can be useful, but you never actually think about how this applies to your life. Yes, you're like, oh yeah, I should do this, but you never even write it down. You never even put it into action. All what you do is sit down and think that through consuming all these pieces of content, it'll just subconsciously manifest in your mind and you'll just suddenly one day become disciplined. One day you'll become incredibly motivated to finally take action with all these things that you've been learning. It doesn't work that way. Everybody at some point needs to get out of their comfort zone. They need to start, they, they need to stop mentally jerking themselves off. They need to stop thinking that they're on an incredible high horse just because they changed their, the content that they're consuming. Yes, in this video, I say, if this video shows up to you, you are ahead because you are different. You understand the value of valuable waste posts. You understand the value of actually watching videos that benefit you instead of watching these entertainment videos like Mr. Beast or all these nasty reaction channels. You understand that. So what are you going to do to differentiate yourself now from the consumers? Because now you're in the midst of all these consumers, right? Consuming Andrew Tate content, consuming Hamza content, consuming all these people's content. You are stuck in the middle of this massive wave. And let's be real, there are more and more people turning into self-improvement consumers. You won't be ahead for long. So what are you going to do? Are you going to let your ego be boosted by this video saying that you are ahead? Or does this actually give you an urge to keep moving forward? See how far you can push the needle. See how far you can actually make it in life ahead of all these people. You're already one step ahead. Doesn't that prove that you can do it two, three, four, five more steps ahead? Keep going. Keep looking up to people instead of looking down at the people that you used to be. Oh, yep. I used to uh, watch self. Imp I used to watch like all these entertaining videos. I used to watch this like horrible porn. I used to smoke all that amount. I'm still smoking a little bit, but it's better than average, right? I'm still uh, jerking off once every day as opposed to three times a day. But I don't worry. I'm, I, it's average. It's normal. Don't worry. You don't want average results. So stop acting like the average person. I fucking hate it when people use excuses horrible excuses such as oh yeah it's just normal right oh yep uh every teenager does this every teenager is fucking depressed every teenager is a they them no they are not but they have mentalities of a they them every teenager is a loser every normal teenager is a loser Every normal person is a loser. You do not even have to be a teenager to resonate with this message. So stop using the horrible excuse of saying, oh yeah, it's normal, right? When you do not nor want normal results.